Welcome back to The Rustic Wife, I'm Alana. I'm just down at the hen house and I'm doing the evening chicken chores and I thought this would be a good opportunity to show you a few of the things that I do for winter care for these, these girls and the rooster. And Chief, get out of there. He's such a, he's such a pest. <laughs> so um, I'm just gonna go back up to the house to grab a basket of things that I have for them, some treats, and I'll show you what I do. So the laying hen, whoa, the laying hen variety that I have um, is the red shavers, and they have been really, really great egg layers. I've had them, well, as long as I've had chickens. I always want to get different varieties, but I find these ones are really consistent layers, and we always get eggs in the winter, so I always just stick with this variety. So one of the things that I do is. I actually give the chickens a dust bath with this diatomaceous earth. It helps with um, mites and lice. I've got a basin and I just put the diatomaceous earth in the basin. I did have it mixed with some sand, but in the winter time the sand, if there's a little bit of moisture in there, it'll freeze. So I just use the diatomaceous earth. So that's one thing for a little bit of a dust bath for them. Like I said, it helps with the mites and um, lice or fleas or anything like that. The diatomaceous earth, I just get that from my feed store. It's called animal feed additive powder. I, this is the same stuff that we use on the garden to uh, get rid of some pests or deter them. So you can just get that at your local co-op or feed store. Also for some added protein, I like to give them as a treat some black oiled sunflower seeds. And that is in addition to the uh, laying crumble that I give them. So it's got all the protein they need usually, but in the winter time, since they can't forage for bugs and extra protein, I give them some of that. Good boy. Okay, I'm trying to do a video. Also in the winter time too, um, because they can't free range and peck away at gravel, I'll give my hens some, <laughs> gee, I'll give the hens, <laughs> you guys are so sucky, some ground oyster shells. They, there's really no gravel for them to peck away at, so I will put a little trough of that out for them to peck. And also, it's good for added calcium for their shell, and also for the bones. I used to, I used to add it to their feed, but I've read it's best just to put a separate trough or a little dish, and they can take what they want from there. Look out. Good boy. So this is the laying crumble that we have. And like I said, in addition to this, hi girls. I'll add in some extra treats. So here's their little dust bath here. I just got one of these, one of these pans from, um, just our local feed store. I just fill it up with some diatomaceous earth. And then they'll, they'll have a nice little dust bath. Also for their water, um, we just use these plastic watering containers. We put two in the hen house for them. Um, I just find that the galvanized ones, they seem to rust really quickly and they freeze up faster than those. These are easy to unthaw if they do happen to freeze, but our hen house is insulated. So, but I put about a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar into their water and it just helps with digestion and keeps them healthy. I just eyeball it as well. I don't want to add too much apple cider vinegar for them because I don't want to mess with the pH of their little systems too much. I don't know that much about it, so I just usually put a tablespoon. And they get fresh water morning and night every day, winter, summer. So I've got these little troughs here 
I'll just fill them with some sunflower seeds for extra protein and the other one with the oyster shell. I also have some dried herbs here. I collect herbs all summer long for me in the kitchen and for tea and things like that for the winter, but I also give some to the chickens. They're probably not as beneficial when they're dry, but I'm sure they'll they're better than nothing. So I've got some sage in here and I also have lemon balm. And the sage is supposed to be antifungal and the lemon balm is supposed to be an antibacterial, has antibacterial properties in it. So um, I usually give that to them. I just throw it on the ground or put them in their nesting boxes. That's good too. And I also will cut some of these in half and let them eat the flesh and the seeds. And I've always thought that the seeds, the raw seeds are good for worms. Some people say they're really not effective, but anytime I have given them pumpkin seeds and I know that they have worms, I see more worms pooped out <laughs> than before I give them the pumpkin seeds. So I believe that they do help a little bit. If not, there's extra nutrients in them, in the pumpkins as well. And they seem to like them too keep their window propped up at nighttime so they have a little bit of air circulation. And also any table scraps. This was um, a bunch of cherry tomatoes that I got on sale. They were really soft, so I'll give them to the chickens. So lots of fresh food and water and fresh air, so makes them happy chickens. So since they're all in here, I'm just going to close them up for the night. It's just starting to get dark and looks like they're having a little bit of party in night there. girls, night bread. So this little house that we have for them, it is insulated and I like I said earlier, I crack that one window for them so that there's a little bit of airflow, but it gets really cozy. It has to be really cold for the ice to, or the wet water to freeze in their little house. And sometimes I'll go in there in the morning and it isn't frozen and they're tucked in there nice and cozy. So they're happy little girls. So they have all of this to free range in the summer and the winter. A little bit too cold for them in the winter to free range, but they do come out on nice days. Morning everybody, just going back down to the hen house to do morning chores before work. But I wanted to show you another little trick that I have to keep your chickens happy in the winter. I mentioned yesterday we have an insulated hen house, but you don't necessarily need to insulate your, your area. At our old place we had a bank barn and I had them downstairs in the bank barn with no insulation and they were fine. They, they usually, I think they prefer the cold over the heat anyway. So as long as they have a, uh, an area that is draft free with lots of warm, dry bedding and lots of extra protein in the winter, they should be fine. Sometimes in the winter when they've been cooped up, if it's been bad weather, chickens get bored and they start pecking each other or pecking eggs, which is no good. So it's good to give them something to do. And I've just hung up a cabbage there for them to peck away at. I hope those tips were helpful for keeping your flock healthy and happy in the cold months in the winter time. And if you enjoyed today's video, please consider subscribing and I'll see you again next time.